Hey everybody, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to this very special class from my new program, Flow and Stretch. Flow and Stretch is a 60-day program where you get the best of power yoga and yin yoga, and therefore strength and suppleness, power and gentleness, yin and yang, because ultimately, balance is the key to health, wellness, and vitality. If you're interested in participating in this program, I'll drop a link down below. It's available at Inner Dimension TV, where you can get access to my full library of content. What you see here on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the flow. Have a great practice. Welcome to Yin Yoga, full body. As the name applies, we're gonna move throughout the whole entire terrain, the body in this one. Let's go ahead and get started in seated butterfly by bringing the soles of the feet together. Toes forward, heels in, knees open out wide. You can grab your feet here, sit up nice and tall. So your spine's like a, a staff of bamboo. And then allow the chin to come down towards your chest. And then draw your right ear over towards your right shoulder. And then bring the chin back down towards the chest. On the inhale, draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. And then chin back down to the chest and then try that a, a few more times. Just some neck sways here, releasing any tension in the neck. It's part of our full body exploration. And then we'll bring the head back to neutral, lifting that chin back up. Take an inhale, draw your chest up, and then fold over and down as you get into the inner legs and to the inner thighs. And in this practice today, this full body practice, lots of space for just silence and also the beautiful music that we've created for this practice especially. So minimizing any external stimulation to come into the senses. Slowly ease your way up as we prepare to make a small but profound change. And that's to slide the feet forward for seated diamond pose. So very, very similar, but shifting from the groin to the outer hips. On an inhale, pull the spine up and out, and then fold over and down. There's a Chinese saying that says, every inch that you lengthen your tendon, you add 10 years to your life. OK, 
creating length, creating space, increasing longevity. More breaths there in the seated diamond. Slowly begin to ease your way all the way up. Cross the legs, roll over to tabletop pose, all fours position. And then setting up for saddle pose, make sure your knees are forward towards the top of your mat. Bring the big toes together, open your knees out wide. Shift the weight back into the heels, bring the hands behind you. And then start to lean back into the hands, the elbows some pillows, a bolster, or all the way down onto your back. Putting that good positive pressure into the sacrum, the lower back, in addition to the thighs and the knees.
Sliding back, slowly begin to prop yourself all the way back up. Bring the hands onto the mat in front of you. Tabletop pose, slide the hands forward a few inches. And then downward dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips all the way up and back, walking out the dog. Then we'll lift the right leg up on an inhale, nice and slow, nice and steady. And then right foot forward, top of the mat on the exhale, relax the left knee down, release the top of that left foot. Feel free to put some padding underneath that left knee. And then half splits, start to draw your hips back, balancing on your right heel. And if that's enough for you, You'll stay there. Otherwise, you can start to slide your right foot forward towards a full split. Something that's sustainable for the next three minutes or so. So maybe using a block to go underneath that right leg. Just allowing that practice to work its magic.
more breaths. Good, that's it for that one. Go ahead and make your way back to a downward facing dog as you slide the right leg, right leg back. Pedal out to those heels. And then left leg up on the inhale. Left foot top of the mat on the exhale, relaxing the right knee down. Releasing the top of that right foot, half splits. Full splits, three-quarter splits, three-eighth splits, whatever works for you. Like so many things in nature, we can't rush the process. It takes time for things to unfold. Same thing within the deep-seated tension of the body. Body, that's it for that one. Ease your way all the way up onto the hands. Make your way back to that downward facing dog. Pedal it out. And then release the knees down to the ground. Bring the right leg forward for the deer pose. So right knee bends, getting that body set up like a figure four shape. And then just beginning to drape the torso out over that front right leg. Perhaps putting a block underneath the forehead, or if you don't have a block, you can bend the elbows and just bring your thumbs right to the 
upper ridge of your your eye socket there support the head that way Come all the way back up onto the hands. Lean into that right hip, swing the left leg forward towards the front. Lift your right foot up, place it on top of your left kneecap. And then bend your left foot to go underneath your right knee fire log pose. Arms up on the inhale. Fold down on that exhale.
transition all the way back up. Bring the hands behind you, feet flat, knees to the sky, windshield wiper, knees side to side. And then we'll move into deer pose on the other side. So the left leg will be forward this time. The right leg over by the right side of your yoga mat. Chest forward and begin to drape out over that front left leg. There's a student that had spent many, many years in the monastery doing their spiritual practices when finally it came time for them to leave the monastery. So the student and the teacher were standing out in the courtyard and the teacher said, I have one last final teaching for you before you leave. The student was very excited to receive one last nugget of wisdom for their official exit. And the teacher whispered to the student the phrase, always remember to smile. And in Taoism, this is called the inner smile and it's a practice, it's a technique to help balance out the emotional state. And although sometimes in certain settings it can feel artificial or forced or not authentic, that expression, fake it till you make it, does have some validity to it because as you do it, you start to feel it in a more and more genuine way. And if you can remember that in difficult circumstances, challenging postures and poses, we could probably say that that's advanced yoga. To maintain the inner smile, even in moments of adversity. Slowly ease the body all the way back up. Start to lean into that outer left hip and then swing that right leg forward all the way towards the front. 
Lift your left foot, left ankle up, place it on top of that right knee. And then bend the right foot underneath that outer left knee, fire log pose on the other side. Inhale, both arms come up. And then fold over and down. Repetition always leads to mastery. So by moving through these practices and repeating them and not changing it all the time, that repetition is like digging one hole and digging one hole really, really well. You get to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And then you start to reap those benefits where even the most stubborn of tension and rigidity in the body begins to loosen up. So fire log pose in the beginning can feel really, really challenging by the end of the program. Remarkable progress is possible. From here, nice and easily begin to transition yourself all the way back up. Extend your legs straight out in front of you along your yoga mat. Setting up now for caterpillar pose. You'll keep the legs straight out in front of you. And then you'll reach those arms all the way up overhead on the inhale, creating that length through your side waist and then fold all the way over and down, folding both physically and also subtly. So feel yourself going deeper into the body and also deeper into the mind. You can imagine you're taking like a little, little retreat. Busyness of mind, busyness of life.
Beautiful, you guys. Slowly roll yourself all the way back up. Slowly release all the way down onto your back. Reach forward, grab the shins, hug the knees, the thighs into the belly. Give that little, little rock side to side there for the lower back, the tenderness that you might feel right now. Keep the right knee in and then extend the left leg straight out in front of you. Open the right arm out to the right. Take the right knee over to the left into a twist. And option for cat pulling its tail. If you like to bend your left foot in, reach down with your right hand and grab that left foot. At the same time that you roll that right shoulder blade down towards the floor. A little twist and a little arch. Go ahead and release the tail. Bring the right knee back up to neutral. Draw the left knee in, extend the right leg out, open the left arm out to the left. Take that left knee all the way over to the right. An option to grab the right foot. Release the tail if you have it. Bring the left knee up to neutral. Hug both knees, both eyes into the belly. Curl the forehead up to the knees. Give the body one last squeeze. Shavasana, corpse pose. Release all the way down. Persian poet Rumi says, there is a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. For these last few minutes, dissolve deep into that inner silence.
Take a deeper inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it go. Reach the hands forward, grab the shins, draw the knees, the thighs in. Taking your time now to gently rock all the way up to a last final comfortable seat. Hands to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Coming back to that inner smile, that Taoist practice. Smile of gratitude, smile of appreciation. May this program continue to guide us down the path of balance, equanimity, and wholeness. Namaste. All right, you guys, thank you for your practice. Enjoy the transition into whatever's coming next. And for the next day or two, I invite you to try that inner smile throughout the day. That's it for this one. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that special practice. Drop a comment down below and let me know where you're joining from. And remember, if you want to indulge in the full entire 60-day flow and stretch program, join our 10-day free trial at Inner Dimension TV. Hope to see you soon.